Cujo is a 1983 film directed by obscure filmmaker Louis Teague and was directed and was based on the Stephen King novel of the same name. The film stars Steve Wallace, Dan Hugh Kelly, and Danny Pintaro. So let's get into it. The plot of Cujo involves a young family, a family dealing with personal issues that they must resolve. Oh, and it's also about a friendly Saint Bernard that goes into a murder into murderous rage after being bitten by a vampire bat with rabies. While the drama in this film is decent, it's seeing Cujo's slow descent into sanity, into rage slash, slash sickness that's truly scary. I felt so horrible for the dog because of all the pain he was in, and it's done in such a brutal way. And the character development is just amazing, not just for the characters, but also the dog. When Cujo is bitten, he doesn't just go insane right away. He slowly goes rageful as the film progresses. I give plot a B. It might seem simple, but it's effective. Next is acting. The acting from the adults was good. Dan Kelly probably could have given a little more emotion after seeing his family missing slash house vandalized. Although, D. Wallace from The Howl- Howling is really realistic at times. There were times when it legit seemed like she was going under, oh, she was going under emotional stress, and Danny Pintar was so good that he actually was crying. Yes, those were legit tears because he was afraid of the dog. I give acting an A minus. Finally, directing. I haven't seen much of Mr. Teague's films, so I'm not really familiar with his style. However, it seemed like he was relying on motion on musical score as well as atmosphere when creating this film. And he does a really good job. The score might be extremely cheesy, but the atmosphere really brings home the horror. Like the scene where Cujo goes, was growling outside in the fog. That scene was really intimidating. I give directing a B plus. Overall, Cujo is a really solid adaptation. It has a very chilling tone and is just good. I feel like this movie might not hold up today only because of how updated technology is. Although, it doesn't really have the same bravery bravery the book did. Stephen King went pure balls to the wall in the book. I give Cujo a B. As the Hero Remake is coming, wonder how, it will tur- wonder how that will turn out. Anyway, thank-, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and sub for more content.